Hey everyone! Welcome back to my country craft corner and in my car. We're doing a little car chat today. I haven't done one in about a week, I don't think, because I've been busily about decorating in my house. And, but I thought I would go ahead and do one today. Chris is at his mom and dad's visiting. I just had a lady, I have a stop sign, but she just about took off my front end there. Gee whiz. Anyway, he's at his parents' house, you know, doing little things around the house for them and chit-chatting with them and whatnot. And I'm kind of on my own for a little while today, so I'm going to go out and do just a bit of window shopping. I need a couple of candles for the black table that sits between the two, the family room and the kitchen. I've got a big fat pit berry garland candle rings that I made and there and I have those two little candles that are battery operated but they use those like 30 32 whatever they are uh, little batteries that are really expensive and they they don't last very long so I want to just put some a couple of just regular candles in there I don't need that to be lit up over there I've got a lamp on one end of the table and I've got a <clears throat> a spool light on the other side so I don't need anything really lit right there so I thought I would go so I'm heading to Michael's today I'm gonna wait till tomorrow Kristen wants me to pick up a few things from Hobby Lobby for her this week so I will be doing another car chat <laughs> coming up this week I think uh, but I will be heading to Hobby Lobby probably tomorrow or the next day for her uh, she wants me to pick up cute little cups with lids she always makes she's something else I'll tell you she always gets her kids the neatest end of the year gifts and she and I always have <clears throat> like a favorite Candace too we always like to get these cool little gifts where you get like a pocketbook and then you fill up the pocketbook you know with all kinds of neat stuff like a wallet and then uh, you know a container to put your pills in and a you know a cosmetic bag and you know lipstick and you know things like a pack of gum it doesn't have to be expensive stuff but like pack of gum or mints or you know whatever to fill up the purse so we kind of give gifts within gifts you know and that's the kind of the concept that she uses when she get, makes up her kids' care packages, little gifts. At the end of the year, she gets a, you know, a gift bag, and then she gets all kinds of goodies to go in the gift bag. So what she's wanting to do this time is, one of the gifts is one of these little cups, and it has like a dome lid on it, and it's like a, a water cup. So she wants me to pick up a bunch of those and she sent me a text and she wanted, she told me how many colors she wants of, or how many she wants of this color, this color, I think four different colors. So I'm going to go in there probably tomorrow and do that and pick that up for her. So I also might stop at Bed Bath & Beyond. I have my coupon here, 20% off coupon because my scales guys are just not working right and I you know I know that I got it to work right and lost the 18 but I feel like I've lost a little bit more and I, I you know I don't want to get on but once a week to be honest with you I don't want to become a slave to the scales that's happened to me how old am I 55 you know many 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 times through the years you know I get on the scale and then I want to see you know I used to get on the morning and the evening well for crying out loud you're gonna gain a pound just in the water you drink you know in a day so you know I don't I don't want to become a slave to the scales but I want a set of scales that work <laughs> right so I, I got on this morning I was like oh, I can't really tell I mean I think I've lost another couple but you know I'm just not positive so I might maybe sometime this week anyway I might stop in there and get me either that or I'll ask Chris to try to fix them again he did try to fix them and he could the man can fix anything anything I have a little story to tell you guys <laughs> as a matter of fact you know I already told you our story of how we met and you know all of that so 
real quick synopsis. We met in the summertime. He was a cousin to my very best friend and she invited him to a little get together that she was having and me too and I was dating a paramedic at the time who never showed up and Chris did show up and we met that night and bang we were just so smitten with one another and we were married nine months later so and we are going strong it'll be 35 years soon so get my cruise control on y'all what I tend to do when I'm talking at you guys I tend to let my foot just goes right down on that accelerator and I speed so I'm gonna set my cruise control boy I need gas too I need to stop getting gas anyway I digress a little story was about my mom <laughs> and Chris and let me tell first of all We've never seen anybody who could fix things the way Chris can fix things. I mean, anything. He is a Mr. Fix-It like you would not believe. I remember one morning when he had, I, I drove a 1978, I think it was, brown, lovely color, four-door Volari. I was styling in that puppy, let me tell you. <laughs> But the problem was it never had its, I never checked, I didn't know to check my brakes. I didn't know to check my, you know, whateverness. I didn't know any of that. And he took my car and changed the brakes. One February morning, it was really cold. And I'll never forget my neighbor, you know, I live with my parents and he had it, didn't my parent, my dad had a half of a basketball court in the backyard don't ask <laughs> but so it was kind of you know it was asphalted back there just like a half of a basketball court anyway Chris had driven my car out on there and he was changing my brakes it was freezing outside it was probably 20 degrees outside and he's out there you know changing the brakes on my car and <laughs> check out this car coming going to come up beside me here in just a second speeding I didn't think these cars went this fast I'm going 60 check out this car can you see it Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm not sure what that is, but anyway. Uh, so I remember my neighbor saying to my mom, Sandra, you need to get that boy a cup of coffee. It's cold out there. He's going to freeze. But anyway, so bless his heart, he fixed my, fixed my brakes. And, um, but my mom was so cute. Chris would come to visit every weekend. His parents lived 45 minutes away from my parents. So he would come and stay with his parents over the weekend and he would come and pick me up and we and take me and go back and forth from his parents to my parents and because we weren't going to stay together I mean that wasn't copacetic you know back in and and the way I was brought up we just didn't do that sort of thing you know so he <laughs> every Friday he'd come up after he got off work and mom would have whatever needed to be fixed sitting on the kitchen table he walked in and he said she said now Chris she was so sweet she was always so sweet now Chris only if you want to only if you want to please don't think that I'm expecting you to do this but if you get a minute and if you think that you could maybe possibly take a look at a couple of these things I could I could stand to have them fixed <laughs> So Chris would come in and he'd fix all mom's little appliances or whatever she needed to have fixed. <laughs> she was just amazed. She was like, oh my gosh, thank you so much, Chris. She really loved him. <laughs> but anyway, so he's a Mr. Fix-It. So, but he, I'm not sure he quite got my scales fixed. So I need to bug him about that a little bit more. I am so spoiled and I know I am as far as him, having him and how he can fix and build and he's he's he is an engineer through and through he's a mechanical engineer and he is that through and through not to mention he's really smart and good looking and all of those things <laughs> but anyway i think i'm going to stop up here at 7-eleven i normally don't get gas at 7-eleven but i am it says 34 miles to empty and i don't know whether i trust this i've never been this low in this car <laughs> so I think I'm going to pull in here in a minute or two and get some gas. 
Okie dokie. Man, I was empty. Woo! Took me forever. And it's windy and chilly. Uh, it's 57 degrees, but it's a cold 57 degrees. I'm trying to decide whether I want to do a home tour once I get everything um, done. The only thing I have left to create is my dining room lantern centerpiece. And that won't take me long to do that. You guys know uh, they don't take me long. And I've already got all the parts and pieces ready to go. So that won't take me long. Done. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty much done. I did find a place for my red and white gingham that white tray that I bought last week at whenever I bought it at Hobby Lobby there found a place for that forgot I had it because I was straightening up the garage because things had just started to pile up on me in there again and I got a wild hair yesterday evening and started just to straighten up and put things in the boxes and baskets where they belong and uh, found it out there I'm like ah, I have this tray I wanted to use it so I found a place for that. So I'm trying to decide whether I want to wait till I get everything done and Chris gets the bins. The bins are still sitting in the foyer there until he gets them back downstairs. I did organize those and pack everything up that I didn't use. So anyway, I'm going to go for now because I'm here at Michael's and, you know, Home Goods sits right beside our Michael's. So I'm here. Go ahead, lady. Go ahead, lady. Go ahead. You're welcome. When I get out of and I'll be talking to you when I get back out of Michael's. Well, I walked into Michael's, walked around, saw they had some really pretty things on sale, pretty flowers. Tell you what I was looking for. I was looking for some flowers to make up an arrangement for one of those mercury glass. Uh, Goodness gracious, it's so busy here, sorry. Mercury glass mason jars that I bought from Hobby Lobby that I was so excited about. Well, I'm not that excited about it anymore because it's they're hard to fit. They're very big. And I had in my mind that I would put them in my uh, kitchen, or on my family room's credenza. And then I decided I didn't want to do that. because I kind of went in a different direction with like the gold butterflies and I really don't care to mix the silver mercury glass, which they were gold, mercury glass with the gold uh, butterflies. Plus I already had, I didn't know why I didn't think about this before, so because uh, I already had a flower arrangement. I really don't like a ton of flower arrangements together, just the one, you know, centerpiece is enough for me on one table. Regardless, so I've been, I did take the one and I found a bunch of like different color Gerber daisies or daisies and I put them in one of them and I put that in my powder room. So I've got one taken care of in my powder room, but I was going to make an arrangement in the other one and put it in my living room and dining room because I thought the mercury glass would be really pretty in there and I do have some mercury glass stuff in there already. So I went in and I there were signs all over the place spring shop this much percent off then they had another one 60 percent off and then others that were 50 percent off well of course what i wanted wasn't on sale so i didn't find anything so i'm gonna have to wait i know, I know that the flowers are on sale at hobby lobby this week for 50 percent off so when i go in there for Kristen stuff i'll go in there and, and pick me up some flowers and do a little arrangement so what I've decided to do is to not do the dining room uh, centerpiece today. Instead, I will show you my little thing that I did yesterday and that a little bit of a chat that I did yesterday about my computer. I'm not going to go over that right now, but I'll let I'll tell you about that in a second here as I go into what I actually recorded yesterday. <laughs> so I don't mean to confuse you guys, but you know. It would make more sense if I went ahead on into that. So, I just heard from Chris. He's on his way home. About two and a half hour drive for him. So, I'm going to go ahead home and get the pups out and fed and taken care of. And then he and I will probably go have a late lunch out. It's one o'clock now. So, he'll be home about 3, 3.30. So, I'll just say right here, because I don't know whether I say it at the end of that hall or at the end of my uh, little thing yesterday.
So I'll say it here just in case I don't say it there. Until next time. <laughs> you guys take good care. My goodness all the oak thistles y'all know what oak thistles are we call them. they are ugh, horrible things which smells them it smell good they're all that's what's all over the patio ugh. Yuck. Tove. you gonna go potty you go go beepy Time for supper. <laughs> we gotta go pee pee first. Hi everyone, Arlen here. Welcome back to my country craft corner. So good to see you guys again and thanks for stopping by to see what I'm up to now. As you all know, I'm working on my summer kind of switch out series from Easter to late spring summer decor, calling it my summer series. Today I'm coming to you and I'm going to try to make a new little arrangement. I also am coming to you to let you guys know that I'm having a few issues with my computer. I think it is actually with my computer storage and Chris has now ordered us a big storage system like mega terabytes and I don't know some big system where I can store all of the videos that I've produced or made up to this point and I was doing videos for you know a couple of decades before I started doing YouTube of the dogs and of family you know gatherings and holidays and so on and so forth so I've got a lot of a lot of you have asked me what computer program I use to do my, my editing program and it is iMovie and it is just the iMovie that came along with my MacBook Pro now my MacBook Pro is getting a little old and we might be purchasing me a new one when the new model comes out here this year sometime but in the meantime, Chris has gotten us this big storage system. So hopefully that will alleviate my problems. You not only do I do all of the crafting that you see, but I do all of my own editing, of course. And that can take me anywhere from half an hour to two to three hours to do, depending on how many edits I make and how often I have to get up and move from my chair to do something else in the house. So. <clears throat> the editing process takes quite a while so then when I get all that done I need to upload it to my computer for storage before I load it onto YouTube now I can load it directly onto YouTube and I'm getting probably technical here and whatever but I choose not to do that because I want to keep a copy on my computer regardless it's the uploading to my computer part that's giving me issues so I really might be going a few days between videos moving forward here until we get this other system up and running. I'm trying my best here. The video I just put up last took me about 8 to 10 times to get it loaded and I ended up deleting a bunch of footage out of my iMovie and that helped. Regardless, I just wanted to kind of warn you guys that I really might be my videos might be a little bit sporadic until I get until we get that new system in place so anyway that's kind of why I'm standing here chatting with you for a long time it is a lovely day here in Virginia not it's cloudy and it's raining but that's okay it doesn't dampen my spirit at all I'm always pretty happy lady and ready to go and do and uh, create especially when I get to create I'm a happy girl so let me get this camera turned around and set up and then I will do a little haul went to Hobby Lobby and I will do a little haul for you guys and then I will show you what I'm talking about what I've been talking about this little 
arrangement that I went. I'm really excited to show you what I'm fixing to try to do anyway. So I will be right back when I turn the camera around in just a second. Be right back. All right, I think I'm gonna stand right here and do the haul real quick and then I'll turn the camera so that you guys can see what I'm gonna do. First thing I found was, <laughs> look, this is the floral stuff that I use like out in the mailbox and in the bottom of some of my flower arrangements. And it holds the flowers when you push the flowers into it. And it is called <laughs> Desert Foam Design It Silks and Naturals. And this was like $4.99 for this. I've got one, two, three, four, five, six blocks of this. And that'll last me forever because I cut it. You know, it's really pliable, whether you can see, but you can, it's really, it's not like styrofoam, it's softer than styrofoam. So there we go. So I got that, that was one thing. And then I picked up this cute little plaque, live simply, but remain grateful. I love that. And this was in the spring shop and it was $12, so, and the spring shop was 40% off. So 40% off of $12. I don't have my receipt, threw my receipt away. Sorry. And there's that. And that is going to go in to this little red wagon. Look, I'm so excited. Look how cute, it's metal. And it did cost me $20, but it was half price. 50% off. So I just think this is so cute. So I'm going to make this to set kind of next to, if you're looking at my fireplace, kind of to the left, just on the floor. But I am going to try to do some kind of an arrangement in it. I've got all kinds of stuff sitting here to show you. So I think I spent like $35, I think, for all that. I can't remember. I don't have my receipt. But just went in there on a whim. And look what I came out with, spent $35, but oh well. I was looking for just a little something, something to add to my stuff on the fireplace and I found it. So, all right, now I'm gonna turn the camera around and we're gonna do this little, see if I can do a little arrangement in this. I'm not sure, we'll see how far I get. This is something new for me, so come along with me and we'll learn together, huh? All right, be right back. Okie dokie, I'm back. And as you can see, here's the little red wagon. Here's the handle down here. And I'm gonna make it so that it's gonna be sitting, like I said, in the corner beside the fireplace. So I'm gonna make it taller on this side and kind of work my way down this way. So we'll go with it and we'll see what I end up with. As you see, I have collected a bunch of stuff here this little yellow. I want to try to bring a little bit of yellow into it. I've got this little owl. I already had all this stuff here. So Gerber daisies, of course, and butterflies. And I have one of those resin daisies that I put in the kitchen arrangement. So we'll see how far I get here. So I want to try to put some of this in here, not only to stick some flowers into possibly, but also as a way to lift this little plaque up in the back. And I don't want to sit it like absolutely in the corner, but kind of right like that, kind of tilted just a little bit cattywamp, but not quite all the way. So, and then I want to put this little fella right, snug him up kind of right next to it. So I'm going to cut, see how easy it is to cut? Cut that right down like that. I'm just using a regular serrated kitchen knife. Easy peasy to cut. And so that will sit there just like that. And then I'm going to put this little fella, you know what? I want him back a little further. So I'm actually going to cut a little bit off of the front too. it it all did I there we go I'll give him a place to snug back in there so you can read the grateful so there we go 
Let's start out with this yellow vine. All right, this kind of takes on a mind of its own. <laughs> Obviously, I'm putting this in a place where it's not gonna be knocked over. The dogs are not gonna knock into this. They can't fit back to where I'm putting this. You'll see when I get it there. So let's see. Again, I'm just gonna start to poke and arrange and we'll see how far I get with this. I'm not sure. Exactly. I think I would like a little bit kind of hanging out the front here like this. Then I just have some burlap Gerber daisies. I'm going to go ahead and utilize this. Okay. Let's see. I want to just you know what? I might want to lift him up a little bit too, huh, you guys? See, things change on me. Stick a little piece of that in there. There we go. I kind of like that better. There we go. Alright, we'll hold him up there nicely. There we go. Alright. Got a little bit of a flower, a yellow daisy. It's the only yellow one I have. Let me stick him right in the middle. I'm trying to keep the lettering so we can see the lettering somewhat. And let's see. Again, I'm just kind of creating as I go here. And of course, I've gotten quiet. That's new, huh? Don't worry about that. How about some butterflies? Again, I'm quiet. I don't like that white. I utilize all of this stuff, aren't I? There we go. And this is going to sit up like this. So, thinking it's looking cute. How about we add some of these red berries?
trying to stay away from the lettering, but it's still going to be hidden a tiny bit. Yep. Live simply, remain. If you get up on it, you can see grateful. I don't really care. I think that looks adorable. Well, there we go. I think that, I think uh, less is more sometimes. <laughs> I always say that, huh? Here, let me add something else since less is more. There we go. What y'all think? I think it's cute. I'm liking it. Whoops, get back in there, buddy. I think that's about it. I'm gonna take it and put it into place and then I'll show you where it ended up. I'm really liking it. Very much.